I want to take a look at uh, the issue of putting a resolution in when you make a scan. So let's take a look at this situation. I'm, uh, I'm about to put together the next issue of Tycoon Magazine. We have an antique picture of Calvin Hobson, a famous industrialist, and we want to put him on the cover. The cover is uh, 8.25 inches wide, so that's kind of my target. Uh, real quickly. The end result will be there's Mr. Hobson on the cover. So we start with his photo and the area that I want to get is about 2.75 inches wide is what I want to uh, capture off of this nice little antique photo. Now that's smaller than my cover. Um, so take note of that. So we put this guy into the scanner and we um, set up our resolution. Now what is that resolution going to be? We have uh, you know the normal setup, reflective, uh, photo. I'm going to scan this for 8-bit grayscale and um, 1200 is uh, not what I want. How do I figure out what I want? Okay, we go back to here and we take a look at horrors, the math. Okay, so do the math, assuming you have a layout determined, which we do. You can scan to the resolution of the final use of the image. If you don't know what, where the image will be used, scan it with lots of pixels and reduce it later. So, if you don't know what this is going to be used for, imagine the biggest one that you might use it for and scan for that. You can always throw away pixels later. Uh, so if you think there might be a giant poster in the works, uh, scan it huge. But for this cover, we're going to be fine with this. So I'm going to um, start out with my math situation here. So get my window out of the way. So here's the uh, the formula, the size of your image in the layout, which is my thumbnail sketch, says 8.25 inches is my width. The size of the original, 2.75, gives us an enlargement or reduction um, number. And then you take that enlargement, enlargement or reduction number, you take that times the pixels per inch that the uh, publication will require. In this case it's a magazine with 150 line screen so a nice safe 2 times 150 is 300. That will give us the resolution of the scan that we are going to capture. Plugging those numbers in, here's what happens. So we get the factor of 3, that divided into that, 3 times 300 is 900. So back to uh, this, we just change this resolution number to 900 and we will have a really nice uh, fitting scan with just enough image to, or enough pixel resolution to uh, solve the problem. So back here we go to uh, our document, get our info window going here, and I will use the direct select to click on the image, and it says actual PPI 900 pixels per inch, which is what I just set my scanner to. Effective PPI is 300. So I put that small image in here, blew it up to fit my layout and I rather carefully tweaked it so it came out exactly 300. Um, your results may vary. As long as you're around 300, you're fine. You know, 312, 299, doesn't matter so much. Uh, as long as you're within that range of 1.5 to 2 times the line screen resolution of your halftone dots, you're in good shape with your scan. So that is a little mathematical background if you're trying to do really economical scanning to exactly the right size. So um, consider that in the 
scanning exercises of the future.